An investigation by the National Human Rights Commission has revealed that Police Anti-Crime Unit Boss Commissioner Gurgim Boob assaulted Ibrahim Asane. A crime both Gurgim Boob and the Inspector General of Police denied earlier. In July this year, the anti-crime police chief came under heavy criticism after the 26-year-old Ibrahim Asane accused him of hitting him on the genitals with a hoe. The allegations drew a massive campaign on social media calling for Boob's dismissal from the police. Let's have more details of that in this report by Ibrahim Akebi Sanko. On Thursday, the National Human Rights Commission said in a statement its investigation panel established that the arrest of Ibrahim Asane and his colleagues was unwarranted. It refuted earlier claims by the police that there was fighting at the nightclub where Asane was arrested. The United Democratic Party, KMC Youth President Nyauri Komma, told I Africa Good Morning Africa on Friday that security officers who are found wanting by the law or a commission should be dismissed. He also said they should face the consequences of their actions instead of the usual redeployment. When the people who are supposed to enforce the law breaks the law, mm -hmm. it should take we should change our mindsets and focus when it comes to the law. There shouldn't be any law that should discriminate. Laws are for all. When the people who are supposed to enforce the law break it, the law should take its course like it would be for any ordinary Gambian. The constitution that governs us has spelled out how we should be ruled. But the majority of the time, the youths. That is why I said the new minister of youths has a job because these victims are youths, like drug cases. Torture, we have cases of the victims being beaten, and as a result, they die for drug related cases. The UDP youth leader reiterated that the law should be enforced without fear or favor, affection or ill will, irrespective of one's position. Redeployment is what we should stop. Gambian security agents should stop this redeployment. Redeployment, you know how it does look like when you are in the service, continue doing the bad things you are doing. They should be dismissed. A monkey will never stop climbing. Someone who has been beating people in Serakunda, I swear, even if you take the person to Farafenye, he or she will do the same thing. He will beat people in Farafenye. That is not the solution. If someone does something, let the law take its course. Here, if a mayor citizen assaults someone, you will be taken to court and you might be jailed or face a fine. Matar Sen, a member of Team Bax, a group of youth supported the mayoral candidacy of Bakar Baji, also commented on the National Human Rights Commission's findings. Without giving evidence, Sen told iAfrica TV's Good Morning Africa program, two-thirds of the Gambians' youths are bandits and as a result, the police anti-crime unit has to discipline them. Anti-crime unit is mm. the most important unit in the security network. Oh, really? Anti-crime unit is the most important unit in the security network. If there was no anti-crime, the inspector general of police would find it difficult to sleep. In this country, three quarters of youths who are less than 15 years are all bandits. What all they do is drink intoxicating drugs, smoke marijuana, robbery, attack people, stab people with knives and broken glasses. That is what they are doing here. You must have a unit that will beat them. If you don't, if you don't beat them, we are all at risk. I do not mean to beat them physically, I mean punishment by law. The Human Rights Commission recommended that the police pay monetary compensation to Ibrahim Asane for wrongfully infliction of pain and suffering, and that the Inspector General of Police to take disciplinary measures against Commissioner Gorijimbu and to consider redeployment from the anti-crime unit. According to the Chairman of the Commission, the Inspector General of Police intends to implement the recommendations. Reporting for Africa TV, I'm Ibrahim Akebi Songo.